All right, man. Here go another light, slight video, man. Sun, sun is out. Bam, there it goes, beaming. Anyway, it's not too hot today, so it's probably like the third or fourth video I'm recording. I recorded a couple videos now. I'll see, man. See, you got the Hellcat in the back. By now, I should have already posted a video showing y'all that the Hellcat is still here. If you just come into this video and you ain't seen my videos in a while, you probably thought I sold the Hellcat. Didn't sell the Hellcat. Y'all see, man. Big ATV. Big 400 right here, man. Big red eye, you know what I'm talking about. Now, this Sentra right over here. Not too old. It's 2017. 2017 Sentra. Go ahead and show y'all real quick. 2017 Sentra used like 34K miles. Uh, the front speakers and the door has popped, but today we're about to install these uh, Kenwood speakers and the door right here. So I'm gonna show you how to take the door panel off, then show you all how to basically uh, put these on. It's gonna be pretty much simple as long as you order uh, all the parts you need. I'll show you all right here, got the uh, brackets, which these are for the doors to put the speaker. So once you put this speaker, once you take speakers out the box, that speaker is going to, have to go most likely on this bracket. I haven't took it off, so I'm not for sure. But you can't just drop the speaker in there without a bracket, as well as that's my toolbox I got from the house, the adapter. So you can't put no aftermarket speakers in the car without the adapters. You could do all that splicing and stuff with the wires, but I never like that. I'm not a fan of that. So I'm just going to use these adapters right here. Uh, so. I'm gonna take the door panels off. I did get this from Crutchfield, as you can see right here. Anytime ordering speakers for like my cars and stuff, I'm pretty much go through Crutchfield because they will send you like the brackets for free sometimes or a super cheap price and the adapters are always pretty much free. So I'm about to get the door panel off, man, and show y'all what you need to do that. All right, so the first thing you wanna do, I'm gonna show y'all pretty much what to do on the passenger side, driver side. Either way, it's gonna be the same way now. Don't know why I never bought a pry tool. I just never had one, even on all the cars I ever did speaker installs on. I just always use a flathead screwdriver. Now, if you want to be super cautious, you know, you go get a pry tool. It's going to be a best bet. You don't want to do that. Use a butter knife or just a flathead screwdriver. So, yeah, right here. And once you pretty much got it pulled off just a little bit, you can come do the rest with your hand. So bam, oh, if you wanted to take off this mirror as well, this is the part that you would need to take off to replace the mirror. So just took that off, first piece. Next thing you wanna do is pull uh, the trim off for this door handle right here. So I see, tell y'all man, it's heating up out here. It's heating up, I don't know if I'll make it to the end of the video or not. Okay, so I got the door ring off. Now, like I said, right before I actually pulled it off, I said you to pry it out and then pull it out with your hand, which you actually can't because it's held in by these clips that's more the, on the inside versus the outside. So you like trying to pry it out from the outside, it's not gonna help you out. So you're just gonna wanna pry it out, you know, uh, not with a flathead screwdriver because it's too thick. So either a pry tool or a butter knife will do. That's why I use is a butter knife. So you see where the clamp's at right here. So as long as you position, the butter knife or clamp tool near these parts right here it's gonna come out super easy but you definitely can't pull it out from the outside because the clamps are in the inside so once you get this part off mind you already took this first part off this off the next thing you want to do is take this piece off right here so all right so next you want to take out this back piece right here you just want to pry it up from the back it's gonna come right up Right here and just need to disconnect this power cord right here and you do so by pressing this clamp right here show y'all all right so once you get that part unplugged all you want to do is take out this screw right here all right so i took the screw out so this is all you got to do for the last part you're going to pretty much pry the door panel off start from the bottom 
Uh, let me see, double check. Yeah, so he's gonna start from the bottom. I will start from the corner, give it a tug. All right, so I just got the door panel off. So like I say, so I couldn't record, couldn't record it because you need two hands to pretty much pry it off. Like I say, you're gonna pretty much just start with the corner. You use both hands, but like I said, I was holding the camera. One hand or both hands and just pull, 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 pull on both sides. And once you get it pulled all the way to the top, you're gonna lift it up because this uh, top part hangs overneath in here. So lift it up and then this is what it looks like right here. Uh, pretty much, I don't know if y'all can tell, these, yeah, these are shit. So I'm pretty much about to take these out. You're gonna have to unscrew the whole bracket. You got three screws, one, two, three, and then, well, actually, I can probably drop my speaker in here. I'm about to double check right now, but to take the speaker out, you do gotta remove these three screws. All right, so this is the speaker, and to basically take it out, like I said, all you gotta do is take out the three screws, the one, two, and three, and then you just gotta remove the plug from the speaker, which is this. All you gotta do is press this piece in and then pull it up. So I'm about to show you how to put the new one in. All right, so this is the uh, new speaker right here, the Kenwood speaker you see Kenwood. Now, I don't know why, but these bracket kits, some of them come with screws, some of them don't, but it's not really compatible sometimes. So this one did not come with screws. So what I ended up doing is just using zip ties through uh, right here and right here. Uh, I mean, it's just good screw, it's not moving at all. And then you're just gonna use the three screws that came out the original bracket right here and bolt this in. And then you see this is the connector. You see, I put it on here already. You basically, you can't put the wrong one on the wrong side because they two different fittings. So you can only put it on correctly. So once you get that done, make sure when you uh, screw in or zip tie however you do your speaker that you do it with this part. Once you get ready to pair the screws up that that part's hanging more down. So you, uh, clip it in right here it'd be down and up just make sure you leave enough room that this can uh clip up to this however you position the speaker so i'm about to bolt i mean screw in the three screws and basically plug this up and that's gonna be pretty much it like i said pretty easy install the speakers did cost me only 50 dollars so wasn't even pricey i installed it myself so i didn't pay nobody to do it uh all y'all do is follow the tools I mean, the steps that I showed you, the only tools you're gonna need is basically a filler head screwdriver, pry tool or butter knife, whatever one you got. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so I will give y'all sound test, but I'm not trying to get copyright, you know what I'm saying? Stay tuned, got way more videos coming, man. There's just a little how-to video for anybody that has a Sentra and wanna switch out the uh, door speakers. Now I'm not gonna switch out the deck speakers or nothing else because uh, this car is, uh, has its own purpose so i'm not looking for no crazy sound just that the speakers and the doors was popped so i went on and swapped these out uh but like i say easy install just follow the steps and you'll be able to get it done all right so i got the speaker in y'all see it one last thing i forgot to tell y'all when you pull the door panel off make sure none of these are left inside the actual door if so just pull it out and just put it back on the uh door panel before you snap it back on so just make sure you check all the holes to make sure there's no white plastics left in there. If so, like I said, it's pulled out, dropping the door panel. I'm about to snap this back on. I did just test out the speaker. Definitely sounds way better than these. Uh, you know, factory speakers are shit, and those just popped on top of that. So, yeah. Nah, was on my grind. It was my time. I ain't think twice. I paid that price, and we did this, this nigga. Police storm at me. Charges never stick. Fucking niggas up in Vegas. Pocket 96, left past C 